بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, this is data analysis for PC1 which is uh, dynamic of uh, steel tanks uh, after we change the experimental this is the data how you get it for example the first one is the flow meter flow rate of the outlet the second column represent here the conductivity in the first tank and this is the conductivity for the second tank this is for the third tank this is for the outlet okay we are taking care of the first and the second tank okay then this is for the we have three parts this is for the positive okay this is for the second part which is negative uh, step and the last part is for pulse this is the three main parts of our data we're gonna convert all these value of uh, conductivity using the calibration curve in the book page number 10 okay then in the first part of the question they ask you and ah one thing more that this is the data for the tank for example the tank height for the first tank is 8.5 centimeter and the diameter for the two tank are equal which is 11 centimeter the uh, height in the second tank it's 8.1 from here can we can get the volume of the tank and this is the flow rates in each part this is for the positive step which is 200 negative six 204 and the pulse is 300 and the flow rate it's equal in, in the milli per minute okay let's start the data analysis the first part they ask you to derive the dynamic model equation for the pulse input okay we can see we know that from the material balance after the material balance find the characteristics equation we and then it's come up with the c1 the outlet in the S domain divided by the inlet in the S domain in the first order system, which is what E which is minus on TPS divided by tau S plus one. For the pulse, we know that uh, it's the input for it is equal to H over S multiplied by one minus an E which is minus on TS. So we're gonna multiply this in the previous equation. So we get this is our equation so we can see as we know for the first part this is like positive response positive step change response and this is like also again similar it's negative step change but it's have delay it have shifted to time equal t we can see from the previously as we know pulse it's combination between positive step change this is the part for the positive step change and the time t we started the negative step change so we expect we expecting the results so like we have response for positive step change plus negative step change shifted to time equal t minus and t okay so then our results become like as we know the positive step change response it's instead of h of a we put h it should be h multiplied by one minus an e to minus an td divided by tau okay for the second part it's h similar to this one instead of that we have t we're gonna change it to t minus an t which is this is the shift and then we need to multiply by every side function which is uh, t minus and t so that means if the time is less than t this part is equal to zero okay this is for the first time for the second part it's second order system so c in c2 divided by c in should be equal to c minus and tds multiply by e t2 for the second time delay time for the second time divided by tau 1 s plus 1 tau 2 s plus one 
So if you make it again, you will find it like h over s multiplied by this part and this h over s they, there is again shift in the second part. We expect in the result similar in the book like equation 8 for the second uh, for the second order for the first uh, for step change the response should be again 1 plus 1 plus t1 over t2 minus and tau 1 over divided by tau 2 minus and 1 they are minus and t1 which is tau 1 exponential tau d minus and t divided by tau 1 plus tau 2 over tau 1 minus and t tau 2 exponential tau d2 minus and t divided by tau 2. Similar to this equation we expected like it again should be the first part plus or let's say minus again same part instead of each t we can put t minus and capital T then uh, we should multiply by the heavy side okay do it your own just use any program MATLAB or Mathematica or you can do it manual analytically by making partial fractions then find the values then use table of Laplace to find that result in the second part they ask you find the dead time uh, the dead time which is mean the lag or the delay if we go back to the result uh, the data let's go for the positive response we can see from here for the first tank we don't have delay if it was at the first reading it's 0 0.1 then 0 0.5 let's look at the second tank 0 0.4 0 0.4 0 0.4 that's mean the reading have been repeated itself so that's no changing okay that means the dead time is equal to this time, the first time divided minus and the third time, which is this is the time reach after that the system have some changes. Okay. We uh, implement the same idea for negative and pulse one. So they ask you which data you use. We can say we use the conductivity data. <clears throat> In the third part, they ask you convert the conductivity data uh, to the concentration uh, using the calibration curve in figure three. So just want to use that slope in the uh, book. You multiply it by the conductivity, you can get the concentration in the first part they ask you to calculate the time constant for the first tank by plotting lin 1 minus and c1 bar divided by a versus t minus and td this part already for uh, positive and negative step change and only for the first tank only so we expecting two value of tau then we know that c1 bar is equal to a multiplied by 1 minus and use minus and t minus and td divided by tau if we are rearrange this equation then we get 1 minus and c1 divided by a is equal to use minus and t minus and td divided by tau take the lin for both sides then this part is equal to y and t minus and td is representing the x at that time the slope should be equal 1 uh, minus 1 divided by tau at that time the intercept should be equal to 0 okay so from the data we have we have the time we can get the time we can get the con uh, conductivity for the Paris tank which is q101 then we can convert it using the calibration and the uh, figure in the book okay then we can find c1 prime c1 prime representing that the data at any time concentration at any time minus on the initial concentration okay then the uh, 1 minus and c1 bar divided by a 
h the amplitude for the step change which is equal to plus concentration minus the initial concentration so at that time you can find it easily clean that part then we have p minus and td okay at the end so if then if we plot p minus p uh, y or let's say lin y minus and uh, versus t minus and td at that time the slope should be equal to minus and one over tau and this tau we get it like experimentally value the cell five part they ask you to calculate tau theoretically tau theoretically for the tank is already equal to volume divided by the volumetric flow rate we can find it for all cases okay then for the sixth part it's uh, graphing you should to graph c1 bar uh, versus uh, t minus and td for the all cases for the positive and for the negative uh, step and for the pulse change we have the equation and we have the data for the experimental is easy just i plug directly our experimental data you have the conductivity after you convert it to concentration just plot it and then for theoretical part we have the equation for the first part which is c1 prime is equal to a 1 minus and t minus and td divided by tau we know that tau theoretically we have the delay we have the a then we can assume different type we can find the c1 prime uh, we can do this for the positive for the negative and we already prove it for the pulse this is the equation for the pulse okay so we have tau also you have tau the, uh, the delay and you know the step for the h okay then make it for two similarly in part seven they ask you to do it for second uh, outlet concentration so you have the data for the experimental and already we have the equations so similar idea we can find that in the that part that thing thank you if you have any question just ask your instructor thank you